Good morning boys and girls. It's later on in the week as I said and you should be looking at your two word money word problems that you've set out at the bottom of the two that we checked earlier on in the week. So it's in your yellow maths book with a beautiful fish on the front and you had your two set out that we marked earlier and now we're going to set out the next two. So let's, let's just check that you remember the four steps that we spoke about earlier on in the week. The first thing you do is you read the story or the word problem. So it's a little story to see if you can comprehend and understand what to do. So you read the story first. Then you make a drawing. And then you decide what to do with that drawing. Are you going to add it? Does it say all together or more? What does it ask you to do? So then you do it. Or maybe you take it away and then you cross it out. And the last thing is you work out an answer from your drawing and you write your answer in a number sentence. And a number sentence, instead of ending with a full stop, ends with the answer after the equal sign. So those are your four steps. So let's have a look at our first one for today. Meg had five rand, two rand and one rand coins in her purse. So let's draw that. Five rand, two rand, one rand coins in her purse. Okay, you can draw it in a purse if you like. Um, whatever you need to do to do your drawing to help you get the answer. And she also had a 10 rand note in her purse. So she's got quite a bit of money, Lucky Meg. And now we've got somebody else. We've got Pam had five rand and one rand coin and two ten rand notes in her purse. So two ten rand notes in her purse. And as I said, you could have drawn it in a purse or just in a big rectangle like a wallet. And now we look at, so that's what we've got. So that's Meg and that's Pam. And you could write that if you wanted to. You could write Meg. That, or you could put her name on her purse and Pam. Right, so now we see what we have to do. How much money did each girl have? So this is what she's got all together. So we've got to add this up. So let's do the first one. It's five rand plus two rand plus one rand plus ten rand. So that's Meg's money. So let's add it together. Five, six, seven, eight. And 8 plus 10, remember we put the units, you didn't do this in your book, but the unit goes over the 10. So your answer is 18 rand. So I'm just going to wrap that out, but I wanted to show you that. Let me 
I'm using my finger. Right, 10. So let's have a look at Pam. 5 rand plus 1 rand and 10 rand and 10 rand. So 5 and 1 is 6. So those are our units. And then we've got 10 and 10 is 20. So what is 20 and 6? It's just like we say it, like the tens and units. 26. So it's 26 rand. So Pam is 26 rand and Meg has 18 rand. So you've answered the first part of the question. How much money does each girl have? Then the next question is, who has the most money? So Meg has 18 rand and Pam is 26 rand. Yes, Pam has more money than Meg. 26 is much more than 18. So Pam has the most money. And then, how much did they have all together? Oh my goodness. Now we're going to have to make one big long sum and add this all together. So let's have a look. Five rand plus two rand plus one rand. Plus 10 rand plus 5 rand plus 1 rand plus sorry 10 rand plus Let's start with the tens. So we're going to, I'm going to cross them out. It's a little bit tricky. Let's have a look. 10, 20, 30. Let's do it like that. So that's 30 rand. Now we're not finished, so we're going to still add it. Okay. And let's go to the next biggest now. Five rand and five rand equals ten rand. Sorry, ten rand. And then this is a tricky one. I'm not sure how you did it, but if you just added it all up on your number chart, well done. But I'm um, doing it like this. So let's go two rand. Let's cross it out so we don't get mixed up. Two rand, three rand, four rand. And now let's add that up together. It makes it easier. 30 plus 10 is... 40 and our units 44 rand. So this one was really tricky. So if you got that all correct, it doesn't matter how you got it. Maybe you added it up like this. Maybe mom or dad showed you how to do that. Or you added it all up on your number chart. It doesn't matter. But well done if you got 44 as the answer. So now I've run out of space over here. But we've answered all the questions for that one. And now 
let's go on to our second one. Going to use this as my cloth. Okay, let's have a look. Pat had, so this is the last block on your page. Pat had five rand. Two rand. And 20 rand in his wallet. And then he bought a hot dog for 10 rand. So we can draw this if we like. It's the hot dog. Maybe you colored it in with some tomato sauce. So he bought a hot dog for 10 rand. Right, and the question is, how much money does he have left? And the clue, I'm going to write this, you don't need this on your page, but left means that some has been taken away. 10 rand was taken away from this, okay? So, let's first add up how much he had. 20, 5, 6, 7. So, 27 rand he had. And maybe you did it like this, which is perfectly correct. Where you didn't just do it in your head like I've just done it with you. You actually wrote it out. 20, five, six, seven. So he had 27 rand, but that's not the question. The question is, he had 27 rand and then he bought a hot dog. So how much is left? So 10 rand was taken away. So it's 27 rand, take away, 10 rand equals, and maybe you drew it, so then you could have done it like this. You could have taken 20 as 10 and 10, because that equals 20. So he still got 10, 20, 5, 6, 7, 27. And then we take the 10 away because he's bought a hot dog. Let's see how much he's got left. 10, 15, 16, 17. And let's do it this way. 27. Take away 10, we're not working with a 7, we're only working with the 10s. So 20 take away 10 is 10, and we've still got the 7 units, so it's the same answer, 17, 10, 15, 16, 17. Right, the first one was very tricky and long, but this one, I hope that you worked out the hot dog problem. It wasn't really a problem, but we call it a word problem or a story sum. So well done, boys and girls. You've done two um, money word problems today.